We present a method for the creation of approximate 3D tree models from a set of photographs. Instead of the user adjusting many modeling parameters, the approach allows complex branching structures to be produced, which are similar to the inputs, while maintaining a biological plausible result. Model production is completed within seconds, thus enabling the user to create a variety of results efficiently. During the pre-processing of the input images, we use standard alpha matting algorithms to separate the trees from the background. For each separated pixel of the tree image, the alpha matting assigns an alpha value, which is used in the next step to estimate an approximate 3D voxel model of the tree. Instead of registering the input photographs, the user manually aligns them by placing them in 3D space. Please note that this does not need to be done too precisely. Our approach works with loosely adjusted image planes. We regard this as an advantage over earlier methods. Initial density values for each voxel are assigned by back projecting them onto the image planes of the input photographs and obtaining the alpha values of the corresponding pixels. A discretized version of the volume rendering equation is solved similarly to Resch et al. and provides us with a refined density distribution for the tree. To achieve a 3D model similar to the provided tree images, we obtain the main branching structure from the images either by applying an automatic algorithm or by manually sketching it in the images. The result is what we call an attractor graph. For efficiency reasons, we compute a two-dimensional vector field by applying a distance transform to these graphs. The vector field is embedded in each of the image planes of the input photographs. We use a particle simulation to produce the three-dimensional branching structure of our tree model. Initial positions for the particles are generated inside the voxels of the volume description according to the local density values. The particles are traced downwards. For each iteration step, we determine the external forces that affect the particle movement. The forces are a combination of an attraction imposed by the respective nearest neighbour, denoted by the green vector, and the combined vectors of the direction field symbolised by the red vector. The blue denotes the final direction. The particle paths are now used to construct the branching structure of our model in a natural way. If the distance of two particles falls below a certain threshold, the particles are merged and form a node in the resulting branching graph. We see that the path of the particles match the attractor graph of every input image. To smooth the branching structure, we interpolate between every edge of the tree graph using beast lines while maintaining the local details. The radii of the branches are determined by following botanical allometric laws. Since it is typically not possible to obtain enough information about the finer branching structures from the photographs, small branches and twigs are produced according to natural branching laws. After selecting an appropriate leaf texture, the supporting geometry is created. All leaf positions outside the voxel model are discarded. Our method also allows for the interactive production of highly complex tree models. By painting in the image, the user can alter the local density of the tree until the tree has the desired form. Now we show some of our results we obtained by using two photographs, respectively. We applied our method to a number of images that contained different tree species and that were partly of poor image quality. The resulting trees have an individual touch while still maintaining the characteristics of their species. Here we see how a tree can be sketched by just a few strokes. We believe that this kind of approximate image-based modelling is an interesting alternative to existing approaches.